Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom. I am super excited to do my very first room tour. Um, I bought my house five years ago, brand new, in South Carolina. Um, I don't know how much you guys know about me, but I'm originally from Long Island. It was a big step for me to move here, and when we moved here, having a brand new house was like a blank canvas, which was so super exciting to me. But with the many kids that we've had since then and all the changes that we've had, we've constantly rotated rooms. So now we're finally where everyone needs to be. So I'm ready to do my very first room tour. And this is Maya's room. So this is the nursery right next to my room. And you enter through the door here. Um, the green is because this used to be Mason's room and because her bedding set has this green in it, we left it in there and we just painted halfway up the wall this lilac color and then halfway up the wall with some spots with this darker purple so it kind of pulled in all of the colors of her room. Um, this is actually part of the set. It's the decor that comes from this set. It's the sugar plum butterfly set from Babies Are Us. So this is the extra butterflies. That is just that princess sticker that I showed you guys in my what I put in my kid stockings video. There was that sheet of all of those stickers. So a lot of those like little stars that are over there and you'll see some of the other stickers on the other um, side. This is her crib. I'm absolutely in love with her crib. All of my furniture from all of my kids come from Babies R Us. They are super expensive, but it's such quality furniture that I really feel like it's worth the buy. Um, what I love about this is this is one of those conversion cribs. So that is actually her headboard. And I know it might be a little hard to see the exact color on camera, but this is like a very stressed kind of gray, almost like something you would see at the beach is why I love it because I feel like it's very versatile. No matter what kind of girl Maya will be, this would be a really nice bed set. So that's the backboard and then this will end up being the footboard of her bed and it'll be a full size bed eventually when she has a mattress. Um, this is the bedding set that goes with those butterflies that are on the wall. This is that sugar plum fairy um, butterfly set and she has her Care Bear and her taggies and this is the doll that my mom got her the my first dolly with her name on it and so that's her bed set and then over there she just has a cross with a uh, now I lay me down to sleep poem on it so I could be hung above where the head of you know of her sleeps this is one of those um, shadow box things, it's a little crooked, um, that I got at the Target dollar spot. This is her laundry basket. I love these basket sets. Babies R Us has all, um, the white line with pink lining for girls, and then Mason has the dark espresso wicker set with um, a white ivory colored linen in his but they come with a basket which I'll show you which is on her dresser where she has all of her bows and stuff and then it comes with lined regular baskets which I have inside of her closet with like linen and stuff in it. Um, that's the valance that we just hung up that goes to her set as well and then this is that mat I showed you guys in what Maya got for Christmas. Um, this is the bat my brother got her and she just sits here and plays with her bucket of toys and this is where Maya and Mason usually play in the morning. Um, this is just a rocking chair with whatever stuffed animals she's collected already that she doesn't actively use on a regular. And that's that other butterfly shadow box that I got from Target Dollar Spot. Um, this, my cousin, is notorious for every one of my kids, anyone that's ever had a kid in our family. She always orders one of these cool things that tells you their name and the date that they were born and what happened that day, what the rate of a house was, the best movie, who was the actor of the year, and stuff. So I have that hung up on that wall. And speaking of her, she also made this Maya thing to hang on the wall, which I absolutely love. But I love it even more 
besides the fact that she made it by hand, but she used my grandfather's paint. Now, my grandfather has passed away, but he was a very detailed man in things that he built. He built me a dollhouse. He painted all these things. He had a very, very keen eye and a subtle hand, and he did great painting, and he had a bunch of things, especially this big ceramic stein that he never finished before he passed away. So he had all these paints. When we cleaned out the house, um, my cousin and his wife took the paints and stuff, and that's what she used. I mean, it was so old. So how she got to actually use these colors um, to make this stuff come out, I'm not exactly sure, but she definitely, she's left-handed, and I swear left-handed people are born with, like, buttloads of creativity because she is the person that, like, I call if we need to make something because she's just good like that. Um, so here's that basket that matches the laundry basket. Like I said, I just keep like lotions and all of her hairbrush and bows and stuff like are in this basket. Um, she has this picture frame she got from her shower. I actually don't have a picture in it yet. Um, and this little piggy bank. This is that little princess piggy bank I showed you guys also in the what she got for Christmas. I didn't get to show you guys the name written on it, but that's it. Uh, my girlfriend Dana got her this really awesome sterling silver rattle with her name engraved on the side. It's really hard to see that, but it's there. But this is what she uses when I change her at the changing table. Um, this is her, um, just a photo album I have from her christening um, and her jewelry box. I feel like her dresser is a little cluttered because this is also her changing station and this is the match to the set also. This came in the bed in the bag um, with it. And so did this diaper hanger that's hung here that also came with the set. Um, and then this is the dresser that is the exact match to her crib. Um, but I feel like her dresser is a little too cluttered right now. I'm thinking about maybe getting either some pink and purple or white corner shelves for this wall I'm about to show you and maybe putting some of those trinket things on her dresser up there and giving me a little bit more changing room because the bigger she gets the more she's stretching and she's like grabbing everything and anything. Um, that's the waste paper basket that also comes with that set. It's a five piece set so it's the laundry basket, the wicker basket, this garbage pail, and two lined um, regular baskets. That's just her boppy. And then this is where I was thinking about adding those corner shelves. But here's more of those stickers that came on that set. And this is her big closet doors, which I can't show you guys what's in the closet yet because with Paul still here, a lot of his stuff is stored inside this big closet. So once he leaves, I'll be able to finish organizing that a little bit more. And um, this is my favorite picture of her from Born. I love that one. And just a little bit more of those decal stickers on here. So that's it. That's my princess's room. I'm so super excited, like I said, to show you guys this because I'm really proud of my home and it's been a long time coming to finally put some finishing touches on some things and feel good about it. So welcome to my home and thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button and comment down below. Let me uh, know what you thought of my princess's room and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that already. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.